Aloha, it's Kaneki. I come in the name of the Lord to the glory of God the Father and doing the will of the Father and the will of God to promote and pronounce uh, at this time um, a viewpoint and a, uh, a bringing to light with everything that is going on right now, right? And in this is going to start the gospel of chapter 24 with Matthew and to fulfill how it says, and this gospel will, um, of the kingdom will be proclaimed throughout the whole world as a testimony to all nations and then the end will come, right? And at this time, what I wanted to um, share is within the coming of the age that the disciples had asked the Lord, he spoke of many uh, things about people will be coming and saying a lot of things, certain ones don't follow, but then he also subjectifies and very pinpoints when there's going to be false prophets and false teachers, yeah? And so now as the light has been dawned and is showing at the break of day, uh, many things have just been fulfilled that has been realized into the nature of wholeness almost uh, just a bigger um, a bigger light the light of life is with me but it's just the something else whatever the case may be what I wanted to share is a clarification so that those who are of the faith and those who even of the world who will begin to uh, slowly hear this gospel be proclaimed and certain ones of that type as things are happening and more people are saying it has to do with this and they're reading in the gospel or revelate or at the revelation of Jesus Christ and uh, uh, making more sense of it right um, that the ones that it says like uh, in that day like many will come uh, claiming I am the Christ yeah and they will lead many astray okay and in others, it says, many will come, in my name is saying, claiming uh, he's here or the kingdom is at hand. Do not follow them, yeah? These specific ones, yeah? They are not false prophets, yeah? And they're not false teachers, and they're not spirits of error. They ha are the holy ones that have been made specifically for a time at the end that would that have been made by him to be his and some to be his possession to be his yeah um with a zeal for good works and the little ones of the lamb um the children of god the sons of god the sons of christ and the first fruits yeah the christ of the the christ of the first fruits um they are soon to as the spirit moves and they move with the spirit yeah they go with the spirit leads them whenever it only know they only know the words of their father yeah and that's why they will also be told about what is to come because only the father knows yeah not even the son and so the spirit that they hold they will know how the best way to uh proclaim prophecy at the prophecy you know at the revelation of jesus christ uh because they bear his testimony and so with that testimony written in them as they have been made for that specific justification yeah they will go on and they are servants they are first and foremost servants um and they do the will of god yeah they have made been made to do and fulfill everything that God needs yeah he had a calling and he said come to me all you who have made a sacrifice yeah uh, with me um, and so that had happened a while back and now it has been fulfilled and at this time what I wanted to make oh, bring into the light to make aware is that they there will now soon 
be proclaimed throughout that uh, the time is at hand and uh, I have come in the name of Christ and all that stuff. And so I say that in all truth, yeah, that I have come in the name of Christ, the time, the kingdom is at hand, yeah, uh, don't follow me, <laughs> but I'm not false, but I say that to fulfill what the Lord has said because it is the truth. Uh, a lot has just been revealed tonight, and um, with this, why I say that is because the light of the gospel is shining on those in the land of the dead at the temple of Satan. Yeah, there was a stone that had been set there until it was moved away after a times, yeah, so that the gospel of the light that had been uh, cut off from a certain select group of people and individuals uh, would now justify correctly in to uh, impartiality of the gospel. So there was another equaling out. And when those equaling outs happened, with this being the last one, yeah, and it's soon to come and then soon to be the time to start to fulfill it, yeah? And it won't be that long, but it's soon to come. Will then be when the that God has put everything under his feet, yeah? The world is his footstool. And when every th all his enemies are put under his feet, it becomes a stepping stool. So he can step down and come back here uh, in all in time. And when that happens... Yeah, the son will also subjugate himself back under the father because he glorifies the his father. Yeah, he glorifies God. And when the son steps down, he has been there as our advocate, as a high priest forever and ever. Yeah. But when he steps down there, he no longer is a priest. Yeah, he's no longer a high priest. He was a high priest in the heavenly realms. And that's why he is the God of the dead and the living, yeah? And so will judge the dead and the living. Um, as well, whatever the case may be, when he steps down, there's not going to be anyone standing between, between God and transgressors. And you, you will be, you will, it's not going to be good. That is why in this time, those who do come down and start proclaiming those like the kingdom is near and they won't say repent. Yeah, they'll just tell you what the father has told them, which is the kingdom is near. And it is. Yeah. But to them and I can as a testimony to this, I was trying to explain why I was starting to have not an anxiousness, but something and I didn't want to say it out loud, but there was a huge overwhelming feeling. And what I could see was like something really big was coming out of the universe in the middle of the universe. And while you look outside as a man mind, of course, it's just like light years away. It's so far. It shouldn't bother you. But the way that I'm seeing it, it's like I could see it inside right there. So it was so close that it kind of, I was like, oh, it's so close. We need to start now. And so uh, once again, prudence, you know, wisdom is with me. Prudence held me back so that it calmed me, brought to peace, but got my attention, got my alert and got my spirit alerted that something was about to happen. And then it has happened. And so they would proclaim that. And when that happens and they fulfill that half a time and which allows whatever fulfillments needed by the father's standard to then enact the, the dawning into the end. Yeah. Into the, the start of the end, um, they will be given by the power of the Lord yeah, um, will then be given to and strengthen people and whoever accepts their word accepts him and whoever rejects their word rejects him and whoever rejects him rejects the ones who sent whom who sent him and the one who rejects them or the one that rejects him uh, is the one that rejects 
the one who made them, okay? <laughs> as confusing as that is, uh, I could make it simpler, but because this is just about to start, and I know because if it has started with me, then my duty is to do this, yeah? It's to do the will of God, and I do as my Father says because it pleases Him, yeah? I do what is pleasing and good to the will of God because it's pleasing and good for me to do it. That's my nature. Um, and whatever is pleasing and good to the will of God that I'm able to fulfill will only be beneficial, constructive, pleasing, and good to everyone around, those who cannot understand and those who can but still are in fear. And so they will have, work, they will have the correct ability to help pastor, help in every single spiritual aspect, yeah? Uh, they're children of God. They're children of the promise as well. Um, and so they, they will start doing that. And when that whole thing happens, it will be a lot... It will be a lot more unfettered to the religious context of repent, repent. They know better already, yeah? And it won't be to the religious context of believe, believe, yeah? In this name or that name and start conflict. That that to them is baby talk, yeah? That's so immature. It, I don't even know why people are still there. You should understand what has happened. But with the children, they have be, been adequately knowledgeable into the righteous one to have a mature righteousness of God in order to go out and start fulfilling every single thing that the will of the Father, God's will, needs to be fulfilled to the uh, equity and grace of the testimony of Jesus Christ, which is the spirit of prophecy, so the spirit of truth, which only the Father knows the times, right? That's how they'll it will be regulated and because this has been given to me to proclaim i will do another video when there is a little bit more uh when i will when there are also more people proclaiming it because there there will be not just one person and one per there will be they will know each other yeah because they are the only ones who can hear the voice of their father. They only know his words, yeah? And everyone else, they'll either run away or they'll, they'll definitely walk like their father did, yeah? And so they, they're not going to be among the churches. That's going to be for someone else. And I can also help with that, but it's they're going to be among the trans... They're going to be numbered with the transgressors, just like how their father... If they walk like their father, expect every single thing to be like their father except they're not going to they don't have to die yeah they're not part of that persecution thing they're here to go throughout the whole entire thing that's what they're made they're servants of god yeah they they aspire to do excellence as if every single thing that they're doing is serving their father which is their joy yeah they break themselves in praise and glory in serving their father and with that they uh they are servants the least among you the least in heaven but will be the greatest among you but they're the servants yeah so they truly will honor the father's will by the way that their actions and deeds promote yeah so you will not you will not find any blame or falsities coming from their lips or deceit coming from their spirit they have been made for righteousness and for goodness they can help to teach the correct ways to wash people's feet. Who is clean and what is the, cor the correct directives on how to do certain things to free people of guilt and conscience and bring them to the waters of repentance, yeah? That is their goal for the first step. What they do is they go out and uh, they will honor every single person that they come into uh respects with yeah they will never try to overpower anybody what they do is they consider every single person 
better than them because every single person is better than them no matter if you're false or wicked or anything yeah because they have been made to understand the will and the final revelation of God himself and every single person truly does have a part in this yeah however the parts that how you can think like oh this is my part and we have to do this it's not the way that man thinks and it does not come about the way that man is revealed by it yeah it's given in ways that is deeper and higher at the same time yeah and so they will never try they will never uh condemn you yeah and when that happens and you start hearing more not only people saying the time is at hand or christ uh not i am the christ but maybe even that i don't know if that's in my heart to say that i am the christ i know that i am a christ of the first fruits as well so people listen for those things too yeah don't follow them but they're not false they are here to empower the closing up and the completion and fulfillment of the six things from the time of daniel yeah uh, because once those things are fulfilled, the faster that can happen, the faster it will be easier for the church, who is going to be the bride, yeah, the church, to uh, understand how to dress the bride in their actions. How the saints dress the bride. And in that, they will usher in the coming faster because they will fulfill a lot of things that only they can fulfill in their part yeah and so what they will do is now listen how I say this yeah once that's fulfilled the little ones will have the power that by the very words that they also speak anyone accepting them or even accepting one of the little ones uh, ex accepts the father they are they're good they're in their place they're at the waters of repentance already yeah uh help the least of these will surely not lose your reward yeah and so in the time of this generation that is so twisted yeah it's it is wicked but when i say wicked not cackle cackle hollywood hollywood it's the fact that even at our greatest thinking of peace and even if we could establish that, it will still lead to death because it's too twisted. Yeah, it still needs to be undone. But thank the Lord God Almighty and Jesus Christ who has saved the world through him and has defeated death. Yeah, and will put him under his feet. Um, has undone that work once all the impartialities come about because it will be one, all one, all one, all one. That's why with... The children of God, the, ch the children of God, I'm going to say, yeah, the uh, children of the promise and the children of God as they go along, they will be promoting what needs to be ushered in, yeah? And so they will be numbered with the transgressors and they will look very much like the transgressors. And that's why it's going to be imperative for those of the faith to watch what you say, yeah? Do not condemn anybody. Bless those who curse you. Yeah. Uh, go the extra mile. Practice self-control and endure patiently through. And I will consistently, as things go on and as the Father prompts with the wills, uh, with the will being established um, to that testimony. Yeah. Because the seal is set that God is true. And so they will be sealed with that. Um will also sound the the notes yeah the the things that people need to hear in order to establish a sense of peace within that church so that they could still remain within the world whatever with whatever happens knowing that their works are still producing fruit yeah they don't have to do any evangelisms and stuff like that those things will end uh but producing fruits, fellowshipping with each other, and watching each other's back. Yeah, you don't, you do not have to die in a persecution. Okay, 
there are some that will be uh and they have already established their places right at this moment and they too have done their part yeah and will be doing their part not all the church needs to be persecuted yeah um but the these ones since they're doing the will of god to usher in as fast as they can before certain things happen um they will also be promoting stuff like the new world order yeah uh i'll also share with the revealing of lawlessness yeah it's a mystery right now and we know about only the man of lawlessness but when the time comes about um where it's more understandable how things work yeah then i will it will then be introduced into the final completion and fulfillment to the end of sin and end of uh, finish of transgression and eternal righteousness so that what can be established within everybody is uh what it is to be in the nature of righteousness yeah because that is lawlessness so there's so many things that have been revealed but this is just a uh, first call to awaken yeah rise o sleeper yeah awake o sleeper rise from the dead and the light of christ will shine upon you yeah so awaken hear deeper yeah um there's still time so don't feel anxious with these words yeah but i'm giving you a good amount of things to look forward to so pay attention how you hear not what you see yeah patiently endure watch your words do not curse but bless there have been certain things given for the church who is the bride yeah to do and given the authority and come the authority and power to do it without feeling guilty because it is a command by the father and it's stuff like love your enemies yeah pray for those who persecute you uh bless don't curse go the extra mile if someone steals don't try to get it back get ask them how much more can you help them stuff like that yeah uh doesn't mean go out and look for those people and just give yourself to them silly like foolishly or folly yeah save your you can promote life by doing good works at this moment without having to put yourself in a position of a martyr yeah there is a way out and that's why i've been sharing that too because my father is of life yeah so i know there's a way out and that's how you do it and the more it comes you'll see the examples that you i can we will be able to live by as we also push the agenda or even stay the agenda so that more there will be more uh balance to a certain scale uh into an evening yeah and then go on and it will all be accorded and it will it won't be like oh we're just talking to each other it's we're going to be as one in the spirit that we all have shared that has come from our father and so we will all know when to do it in that unique freedom of how we go about but at the fundamental basis we are brothers yeah and so as servants we come in the name of the lord yeah to the glory of god the father and glorify the testimony of jesus christ and announce fulfillments as well and uh so when these things are about to come about i encourage you to mind your words and also do as we do as well and do as the because we do as the father does yeah and one of the main things is to treat every single person that comes into your life whether or not don't look at them as a person because your king is among you he's going to be one uh he will serve you yeah he will be serving you and so you want to be prepared to establish yourself in a worthy manner to uh, everybody yeah there have been set rules and regulations that have been given to you so you can do certain things that 
would seem very that would make you feel guilty if it was not written as a command to give you leniency and grace during certain times one of those is to respect the rulers and authorities in the world that are there no matter what they are putting in place they have been set there in this time to benefit the bride of christ and the children of God uh, to keep them, yeah? And so in that, they will be putting things in place that you already have a correct um, knowledge about as a whole conglomerate to know what certain things you don't do and what certain things that you remain in and as and keep on growing. And those things would be very gracefully like submissive and uh, slow to anger, quick to listen, long and deep to listen, quick to speak, go in with wisdom. Yeah, and in this time, there is enough maturities into that scale to know that it is capable. That's why it's been given that this is the time to do this and to start a preamble into what is to soon to come. Yeah. Um, and in that, the shepherds and the leaders, yeah, just watch your flock, take care of the sheep. I've gone into some of this earlier about Peter and why it was three times, yeah, that the Lord asked, do you love me? Yes. Do you love me? Yes. Do you love me? Yes. This is going to be the third establishment coming up, yeah, where do you love me and it's why do you keep asking me that, Lord? I feel hurt that you don't trust me. Yes, I love you. Look at my heart. And he will look at your heart if you are of the church and of a leader, yeah? And have been pastoring a flock. And he will say, then feed my sheep. And in this sense, it's tending and feeding. But the tend, you're not tending because they're not, there's not going to be a, a daily... Uh, traditional sense of what you know yeah that's the establishment will be taken out and it needs to be taken out if you for the will of God to perform its miraculous finish at the end that is just a, a new heaven new earth with amazing benefits that is a freedom and everlasting life yeah you want you need to be teaching uh and leading in ways that will promote a solid courage into the spirit of your flock to let them know that when certain things happen when they feel like they and have thought and have been taught as well that they need to fight back you need to establish the fundamental basis of no yeah and don't say no but say this is what you do by the d decree of god they will listen to you yeah and that's how you keep them and you keep them fellowshipped yeah so start making sure that you have a uh, list of the people in your church yeah and making it's possible that they, they can start meeting in their homes if they're not able to go every Sunday and have one of those big types of fellowships, yeah? And in that, what you can do is have small gatherings in different homes and connect through how we have technology as it is benefited to us right now, which is amazing, yeah? Um, it's so graceful, the tribulation. As graceful as can possibly be, that needs to be fulfilled to go through, yeah? Um, so start doing that so that at all times it is within the flock that you will establish the encouragements that you need in the spiritual sense as the world gets more rocky. Yeah? And it's going to be uh, one another that you will be uh, helping out yeah, within the flock um, amongst yourselves. And so start getting prepared for stuff like that. Yeah. Um, as you can hear me, I'm not preaching no uh, rapture or I'm not doing any type of second coming, yeah? Um, 
when things like that happen, okay, let me tell you how this works. It happens in your season. And the, after a certain time, which is soon to come, everything will be opened. And the maturities of most people will be at that point where if there is a repentance, which is a rethinking, a rethinking to think again, yeah? Or a overthink over type of thing. Where what you have thought was the correct way, but was not getting you anywhere, so you got into a comfortability, to push the basis of your faith into that perfect, uh, uh, justified capacity that would be an approval to God, you will have a, a taking up, yeah? Like a, a going up, you will know, it, it will change your life, and you will know, it, it, you will know the truth, Yeah? Uh, you will see things, um, stuff like that, yeah? But it's up to you in order if that happens. And the gates will be open um, until when the maturity comes. That's when the discussion will be revealed about the mystery of like lawlessness, yeah? And the, the mystery of um, those types of things. Because then... There will be an instance where something, some incredible anti-gravity uh, stuff will happen, yeah? Um, some incredible formulations of the invisible realms of what holds us together will make really crazy. But it, at that time, most, uh, most of you will already have known your division and approved into that division and you will be of sound mind already yeah and so it's going to be the flock the sheep of the flock that will provide within that your congregations yeah so it's going to be sharing amongst yourselves keep it to fellowships and stuff like that and know that um god is with us truly yeah and so i come in the name of the lord to the glory of god the father to do the will of god to, and to start and enact it, um, there's been enough fulfillments and myself approved by the authority and majesty of his will in order to do this and be a servant to everybody, yeah? Especially to and a servant of God um, to enact his will. I will go into more about what it is that as we go on, um, that has established certain people into where they are as Abraham's descendants, yeah? Um, I mentioned some of that in my last video, but with this one, I'll go into what has been already, the more that has been given, and it's happening so fast. I mean, so much information. I can't believe, it's almost like the entire word just opened up. Um, like the entirety of it just announced itself like hello and uh, uh, some amazing changes too soon come yeah and so once again the kingdom of God is at hand yeah the kingdom is at hand so prepare yourselves but don't follow me yeah because I'm not here to be a leader I am a servant to help the leaders yeah who have their divisions and there's going to be more of a type of separation that establishes each to its own regards, almost, right? Um, as it gets closer to the shadow meeting the light kind of thing, yeah? And at this time, the stone is moving, and so the last... Uh, um, Impartiality will soon be complete, which will make everything under his feet, which will enact a lot of uh, things to come. And as you know, yeah. And in this time, don't worry about the false prophets and the false teachers. You already know who they are. Uh, there's enough maturity. It's been known. There's enough maturity in people to know who they are. Uh, so establish yourselves where you are now as the church, yeah. And because it's not you who will go first. Yeah, it's sinners will enter first because they're the ones who they'll accept our testimony 
about ourselves with no discrimination because they don't understand our tongue, yeah? But we can still speak English or speak at the vocabulary with the definition to make them understand, which makes them enter first because they will not be able to un to not believe when we speak to them about certain testimonies and then they see it actually happening and has happened and, and the proof would be in the pudding, yeah? And so it's like, but don't worry about yourselves with the church. Blessed are those who believe and have not yet seen, yeah? So as I said, the Lord, Jesus Christ, has saved everything through him and has saved the world. God has sit, loved the world and he saved it, yeah? And the gift of grace is here in measure with, I mean, that's just sufficient. It's the sufficiency and it can also grow as huge as whatever. But the measure of sufficiency is enough for everybody. Um, so it is going to be the actions of the church that dress the bride. So make sure that your actions are clean, yeah? And uh, as we go on, if there's any guilt in anybody and fear, let me know because I have been given the right by the Father to help with the will of his people to help clear the guilt and conscience. And with that, so that there is less and less repentance on the part of the church so that you can go on then knowing that you are forgiven and then can live life yeah not living in repentance and then fear what you do is you live in thanksgiving and give life and will be set up to be the people that god um has always wanted which is people who worship in spirit and in truth yeah um and be prepared for many lives to be changed almost in the blink of an eye yeah so uh, i come in the name of the lord and yeah. <laughs> Thank you.